The one and only Xylophony back with Mario, and he's testing out that new God Gear Free Phoenix thing, and he's mixing it with some Destiny. Of course, we know. We Not know. just Destiny, though. It's mostly Vision, because Ooh. Vision monsters turn themselves into equip spells, and equip spells count for him. All right, very true. And I'm going to try out a more refined, more competitive version of the TG deck I was messing around with for that tournament. So things could go pretty well here for the uh, Fight Club tournament, so... Luckily, I randomized into something I don't dislike. But who is yeah. going to go first? Ooh, I get to go first. Sweet. Um, let's see. So that sounds like a cool thing to do. That'll let me get into that. And that is physically a tuner, so we can play. So let's do it. Just got to make sure not to summon too much. And we are going to go with this. I also took out all the hand traps because, as you guys know, we don't try to play with a ton of hand traps because we want you yeah. guys to be able to see more plays than just... Negation. Speaking yeah, of which, video Mario's main card he's using is a negation card. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, Let's well, the see. deck is based around him, so... Yeah. Makes sense. So we'll get TG mm -hmm. Striker out here. There we go. And that. Go into Chris Draw Needle Fiber so I can get another free tuner out here. And that is going to be... Let's go for the... Uh, ooh, definitely the Grub. So that'll be in the graveyard to mess with. And then we can go to the Trident Launcher. I don't have any crazy plays here, but we can get the uh, core play moving. Alright, so we'll special summon from the deck, the serpent, from the graveyard, the grub, and from the hand, the only one I have. There we go. Didn't do any of the math to see what the best choice was there, but either way I was going to get both from the graveyard. And screw serpent is a very good choice from the deck, I think. I'll count stars now that they're all out here. All right, it's waiting on you, Mario. All right. Uh, it's just one of those random spell cards I put in the deck mm. that's asking me, and I don't... Mm -hmm. it, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping it works out the way I'm hoping it does. <laughs> Let's see, so that's a tuner. Ooh, so we don't have non-tuners to mess around too much. So it's going to be some basic plays moving out here. I can yeah. go into this. That means I won't get the additional draw off the other play. But that's fine, yeah, because this needs one tuner and one non-tuner. And I only believe I have one non-tuner in action right now, yeah. I did add a lot more uh, non-tuners to the deck to kind of help that out. But you're not always going to get them. So we'll hit the tank no. rub so we can get that going off. Oh, wait, no. Booster Raptor's a non-tuner. Yeah. So let's see if I can get enough stuff with that. So I actually could have gone a little better. I forgot Booster Raptor was a non-tuner. So you don't have much of, or if much or if any of the... Uh... Assault mode support in this, right? No, none at all. Okay. Let's see. So that's a one, two, three, four. So you don't you're not even gonna be able to get the TG assault mode. Um, not the not that one, no, not the assault mode. But there's other cool things in the okay. deck. So we're gonna um, adjust the level of the token. Mm-hmm. Sorry, the game froze up for me. Sure second it did, Mario. Alright, and that's already the synchro, so I wish I had done this in the right order, but at least I'll still get my boys out here. I'll do that. And we also got a Hyper Librarian. Hyper Librarian? Yep. And with that, I can get a Blade Blaster out here, but that's I not too how, crazy. So, I love how a lot of the TG stuff just works in synchro decks, and it's just <laughs> not necessarily in the TG deck. Um, yeah, I guess so. Alright, let's see. Hmm... Well, you'll be happy to know that while I have a lot of stuff that combos into each other, mm -hmm. I don't have a normal summon. Oh, boy. Yeah, I definitely made sure that this deck had ample normal summons because it is, as I mentioned before, majority special summons and tuners and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. End of main phase, do I go for it? I might be able to do something else, so I don't think I will. Let's see, because this one, yeah, I'm going to just summon that. So, yeah, nothing. Okay, cool. We got another uh, Screw Serpent. So let's use that for our normal summon. And see what we can get out with that. Ooh, absolutely Booster Raptor. Okay. What about... No. And I'm then... <sighs> believe this guy's just going to let me special summon this guy from my hand. Fun. Alright, we're in business now. Now we can get the dragonfly moving. 
the mighty dragonfly. And we get that off, and uh, is that tank grub's effect? Do I need it for anything? And why not? I still got when the serpent I, here. Why don't I stop TG Hyper Liber? Oh, I can't even target him. Oh, yeah, true. Um, Which is the one that's sucking up your targeting or something? I think it's Trident Launcher. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Your opponent uh, cannot target TG Synchro Monsters that this card points to with card effects. Yeah. Dang it. All right. A little bit of protection right there. If I had a second inf infinite burnings. <laughs> like me? <laughs> oh, no. Look on the field. What do you think those two cards are, Mario? <laughs> really? <laughs> exactly. All right. So let's at least, since you called out his name, um, we could go into a few things here, but let's just go into the TG Halberd Cannon. Because that sounds fun. Yeah, the top level guy. Yep. I can. The two main plays in that are either going into that or going into the Cosmic Blazar, which you can do mm -hmm. both relatively easily. Yeah, this right. guy just negates summons while his assault mode just. Oh, yeah. Banishes him. I think it's Star Guardian out here again. <sighs> I'm, I'm just thinking how deadly it'd be if you had both of them, both Synchro and the assault mode on the field. I know. Uh, can I go any further with TG Star Guardian? Mm, that'll give me a one. I don't think I got like a Warwolf or anything, so not a ton. So to the hand, let's just get a Screw Serpent back, because that's always a good thing to keep using. Um, aside from that, yeah, we could turn stuff into more stuff, but this sounds good. Oh, we're just leaving him out there like that, huh? Yeah, it's fine. We got double impermanence and a Halberd Cannon on the field. I can take whatever comes next. Yep. Do this. Nice. <laughs> no negation on that, for sure. And attack that. I don't even know what TG Halberd Cannon you. I, you don't really go into Quasar with this one. Or the, uh, rather the Cosmic Blazar, not Quasar. So we'll end it right there. There you go. Once per turn, when a monster will be summoned, you negate it and then destroy it. Cool. Okay. Quite simple. So I'm going to activate this. By discarding my Honest Neos, I can special summon him. Okay. And let's see. And then activating his effect, I can equip one Vision Hero from the deck onto him. Sure. I could stop it with the infinite impermanence and just ruin your day, but let's see you do some stuff. Then, let's see. Do I, what do I have options in the deck for again? Uh, let's see. Okay. And activate his effect. Nice. Allowing himself to be special summoned. Of course, when he's special summoned, I can special summon my Vion. Okay. Vion's effect allows me to send a hero to the grave. Do whatever you want. And yeah, everyone, I know I could stop this at any time, but I'm not. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a decent enough field that I think I'll be okay regardless. Let's let him play. Shadow Mist. Okay, Shadow I shouldn't Mist let him play. Effect. Shouldn't let him play. <laughs> Gotta love a good Shadow Mist. Mm -hmm. This allows me to add to my hand. Uh, let's see. For now. Ooh, perfect idea, actually. I'll add a Malicious to my hand. Okay. Interesting then, choice. I guess you have a way to discard it. Overdone Burial by discarding my Malicious. Yep. I can special summon. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, whose uh, level is lower than... Okay, so that big level helped out. Nice. Yeah. Once again... I won't shut you down. Are you? Oh, that's right. You can yeah. stop. Uh, I've had impermanence I hear the whole time, and I got offered here. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Halberd will stop me. Infern impermanence can't stop a spell card, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, can. If it's in the same row. Which it is. Oh, okay. And I could have stopped any of the effects that got you. <laughs> the things, too. Mm -hmm. but... right. And then let's ask, activate a quick little mask change. All right. Get rid of Vision Hero Increase. Sure. And let's bring out... Uh, I don't think Dark Law would be that useful right now. Certainly not anymore. I guess long-term play. Yeah, it's not a bad thing for sure. Mm-hmm. Then let's also activate Vion real quick by banishing my Shadow Mist from the grave. Mm-hmm. Getting my Poly. Sure. Which I can activate now, but mm. would that be worth it right now? <laughs> it's your call. 
Next round's probably not going to be too sweet for you, so. So if you got to play, make it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do it. All right, using malicious. Oh, yeah, you get another malicious moving, too. Mm-hmm. All right, no. I want to let him play cards. <laughs> Shut up. Activating polymerization. <laughs> Man, you're putting him right in the rows. It's so tempting, too. <laughs> I keep forgetting that, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you out on it. Get that, get that, you know, ingrained into your system. Even if you don't, you know, even if you're not playing with impermanence, get in the habit of placing cards in opposite rows because so many things use that sort of stuff right now. Ah, fun. Trinity, yeah. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, baby. All right. So, yeah, he gets to come out. And can I stop his summon? I guess I can't negate his summon. That's cool. What does this guy even do then? If he can't negate summons? Uh, let's see. Let's see. During our player's turn when a monster would be summoned, negate the summon and destroy the monster. What does that mean? Uh, maybe, maybe summon, meaning you can stop a normal summon, you can stop a special summon. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. Maybe God's Arena cannot be negated. Maybe oh, none of them. Cannot be. <laughs> Vision Hero couldn't be either. Really? Yeah. Another way, I would cannon should be fine. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh, let's just get this out of the way so that doesn't cripple us. That's we'll why I chose this one instead of going straight for your Halberd cannon. <laughs> we'll just take that take one attack. Very good. Take down the Trident launcher. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Albert Cannon didn't really seem to help out all that much. Yeah, why wasn't it allowing you to negate me? I don't know. If anyone knows in the comments, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to be focusing on, you know, Cosmic Blazar, which seems to have worked mm -hmm. fine in the times I've used them. But yeah. Obviously, yeah, we know I let Mario get to here with the impermanences. Yeah, no. So it's all good. To Plus, be we fair, got to see the gear free I actually was... come out pretty easily. I like it. I got a nice field with all that. Mm hmm. All right, let's see if there's a hope in the world for me to bounce back. Burr, burr, burr. I even know you have an equip. Let's see, add a beast warrior. We can get our... Um, I guess we gotta go... Hmm, that's an, I don't have any way to special summon any of them, though. I got a reborn Tengu who would help me out, but it has to be War Wolf, otherwise I just won't have a play. So, we can start by special summoning this boar. And then... Ooh. Yeah, then we can freely summon Warwolf. Q. Let's just get this out of the way, and this is also going to help you out a little bit. Because mm -hmm. it's going to allow you to special summon right now. Absolutely. Yeah, you were only able to activate Impertinence Infern once per turn, weren't you? No, I think I could have used it multiple times a turn. It, pro it popped up again, so. Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't use it to stop Gear Freed. Um, well, the, the effect wouldn't have d done enough, you know. Yeah. Or maybe it would have. I just was hoping that my... I was waiting for Halbert to kick in at some point. I just never did. All right. So, special summon. Who's it going to be? I guess we can get that... Uh, uh, yeah, it has to be a TG, so we can get that moving. So, let's do the grub. Yeah, the God Phoenix card is a... Uh... Mm-hmm. He's fine. I mean, you just got through a really powerful monster. So, mm -hmm. it's very good. Oh, I just realized I burned through all the plays after this earlier on in the duel, so it ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, wait, no, that's not entirely true. I get one thing back from Grave. So I can feasibly make something happen here if I get the Librarian right now, because I still got the Wonder Magician. So we can do that. Then we will Special Summon. Um, that guy will come out. So from hand, you. And then from the deck, it specifically needs to be probably you, Booster Raptor. Most likely, so let's do that. And then I get one more off this. And yes, I can bring out the dragonfly, which means that 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 I have a chance, Mario. Mm-hmm. Okay, we are now going to go into this. And then chain sequence is all good, it don't matter. I have to destroy my tanky, but it's really just a search anyway. I get a glow up bulb. Hey, I haven't even uh, normal summoned yet. That's fun. Then we can go into. Oh, can I not go? Ah, oh, yeah, because I can only go into the TG stuff. So, Blazar Dragon's not exactly on the table right now. Hmm, but equip.
could be soon. Yeah, this will be fun. All right, we're gonna... Let's see what I can do. A lot of people put in Stardust with the Quasar in this style of deck. I know that. There's a lot of things I could go in. It gets you a lot of synchro moves, obviously. Ah, juicy. All right, and I think that's all I can do right here. And then we will very... Ah, oh, now you got the negation, though. Because you just equipped. Yeah, so I don't no, know. No, he didn't equip. He didn't equip. Oh, okay. He's just done. And plus, even if he did equip, even if he did equip, uh, he wouldn't be able to basically use his effects until the end of the next turn anyway. Okay. Yeah, true. You're right. Uh, let's well, see. If this... Actually. Okay. Uh, no. Actually, that's not the good idea. Well, Why wouldn't it be able to be used until the end of next turn? Oh, be oh, no, I thought that's how I'm fr I was treating it like you're probably thinking of going by the grave. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. As long as he's, as long as I increase isn't equipped to him, we fine. Mhm. Mm see, do is there anything good to? Yeah, I'll set this down for now, just in case. Mhm. Mm but since Trinity now has his effects back, and I can now activate TG Wonder Magician, here comes the big boy. However, <laughs> oh yeah, true. Trinity gets the three attacks, but still, he doesn't get that attack because that's just when he's summoned. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, let's see. So what do I do here? I can negate the attack, right? When a monster declares an attack, do that. And when do you get to take someone over? When a monster effect is activated. No, let's send one away. At the start of the damage step, if he attacks. Okay, so I'm just gonna save all my moves until that might happen then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I want to see how that chain order comes out. God Phoenix Gearfried versus Cosmic Blazar. This is still the first duel. Mm hmm. Oh, alright. So let's see if I can just straight up do that. Negate the attack. You do, and that ends the battle. Yeah, so you can't scoop him up. Alright, alright. And he sends him. I was hoping. So I was kind of hoping that, like, Stardust, it would send him to the grave. Because I had a special <laughs> little thing for him. Nah, he's. I mean, he's a big level 12 synchro monster, so he gets around that a little bit. Mm hmm. Uh, is there anything I can? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this a little bit. I'm gonna send away my Trinity. Okay. To bring him to the field. Activate his effect. And I can special summon back another Vion. And this somehow became a good duel. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Vion will allow me to send to the grave again. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Let's send to the grave another Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist will allow me to get to my hand. Uh, let's see. I never normal summon this turn, so... There you go. What can be see. done? Well, let's add the other Ferris to my hand. Mm -hmm. And I can normal... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I have to tribute him. I'll tribute my increase to get his effect off. Okay. I don't have another poly in the grave. I was trying to stretch a little bit, trying mm. to get a poly in the grave. Yeah. Trying to get another poly. Because what my chain of ideas was, I was trying to stretch all the way into dangerous and possibly get enough power to just overpower your dragon. Yeah. Well, I can still negate an attack, but if you have the attack with overpower and god gear free, then yeah, then you'd be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the whole plan was. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't look like so it looks like I might be able to scrape my way back into this tool. Well, mm -hmm. it's not really scraping when your when your tool is a cosmic blazar dragon, I suppose. Yeah. It's but the thing is, they kind of fight each other a bit, though. God yeah, Phoenix. no, it's a, it's a good little matchup. That's why I wanted to see it so bad. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, pretty much uh, when you would summon a monster, when you declare an attack, or when any effect is activated, I can move on you. So that's pretty good. Now, what do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to not play any other cards and leave a potential opening for me. Just because I only have four cards left in my extra deck anyway. <laughs> After playing through all this, so there's not really much I can do, period, unless this um, Blazar carries me to victory. So we're going to let him try to keep, carry us to victory. Uh, what I will do is activate my increase real quick, sending away Vion to put him back on the field. Huh. I guess I'm not going to get another negation this turn. Yeah, 
Oh wait, no, that just lets you send any face-up equip card you control. So it doesn't have to be equipped to him. Ooh, juicy. Okay. Guess I'll let you. Mm -hmm. I completely had in my mind that it was uh, just had to be that, but that's all good. So, we attack. Got Phoenix Gear Freed. With our negations all at the ready to go when needed. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Figured uh, you had that nice. when you mentioned, I hope it went to the graveyard. Um, yeah. Let's Spanish see. him so you can't come back. <laughs> I mean, I can just negate that from happening. <laughs> um, yeah, I, mean, I don't need to, though. <laughs> I'm not, I can't bring him back anyway. Um, let's see. Damage step when that happens. Is that just when you take damage he comes out or something? Yep. Okay. I will just stop that then. Because why not? Cool. And turn, and he'll come right on back out. Boop. Yeah. Right, with, with your field looking like this and your hand with one card, I'm confident now. Obviously, you might be able to get one more play off, but I can stop one play. If okay. We'll see. Wonder All right. Driver. All right, let's shut that down. I win. Ah, <laughs> smart. <laughs> I, I kept quiet for that one. I kept mm -hmm. quiet for that one. Yeah, I, I legitimately forgot. I was about to clear my own field. Nice. Oh, Stratos doing the dirty. Stratos. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking at my number of life points left. Put myself in a way too vulnerable position. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wanted to set another card, because I forgot this guy offs himself whenever he pops his effect. Which is a good yeah. and a bad thing. In this case, it just happened to be bad. Good duel. Let's do another. Yeah. Ooh. Good matchup. Mm -hmm. I still could have negated him earlier on in one. <laughs> I, I had an infinite impertinence in my hand. I could have stopped you from playing early on. Because I controlled no monsters, I could have stopped your first monster. Mm. And you did it. No, because I wasn't... I could have impermanence your impermanence. Uh, let's see... I do this... This week on the IF game. Can he get it? No, he can't. Yeah. I don't know why I chose turn two. I wanted turn one. I was like, I'll give you turn two. Wait, that's not how this game works. Uh, let's see. I got that case of too many normal summons in my hand right now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Setting you down. Uh, Actually, I this could change things up. No Solid Soldier allows me to special summon my Shadow Mist. All right. Shadow Mist allows me to get uh, yeah. my Mask Change. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Actually, I do have a play. Yeah, I can go that into that and then use that later. Okay. Mm hmm. I mean, if you do go into Dark Law, though, that obviously stops a lot of my stuff. Yeah. He's going further than that, though. Going further beyond. End of yours and destiny. Yep. All right. Yeah, this is going to be hard for me to bounce back on. Definitely should go turn one with this deck. When the end game is the <laughs> Cosmic Blazar, turn one sounds good to me. So we got Dystopia out here. Mm-hmm. Doing that will allow me to bring out Malicious. Mm-hmm. And then, do I have any end game? I do have a little bit of end game, but do I? No. Yeah, bring out all that damage. life point damage. Go for it. Yeah, well, let's just go into. I'm assuming Dark Law, but that's because I'm terrified of Dark Law and always assume Dark Law. Mm hmm. And that's it. Alright. Okay, so this card will still work against Dark Law. Actually, a lot of my stuff still kind of works. So. Let's uh, special summon TG Striker. And then I can do a Warwolf from the hand. Mm hmm. Now, because of that Dark Law. There are some threats still around. So we do have to be mildly careful. I want to use my normal summon for that, but I shouldn't. I should save it in case you negate something out here. So I'm going to just use these two and go straight into a needle fiber. And that's exactly what I was afraid of. Cool. Yeah. So that's going to slow that down. So I will use the normal summon. Um, 
And it's gonna have to be on one of these guys. Ah, oh, man, I'm not gonna be able to graveyard play from Screw Serpent. Which actually, since that means, maybe that does fully shut me down. Because I think I have to have one in graveyard to activate my Trident I Launcher. Think he, yeah, TG's play directly from the graveyard, I think, right? Um, no, not at all. But, you know, there's one card that uh, brings one back from the graveyard. And I think it's a stipulation that it has to bring it back. So, what can I do here? I think I can still bring it out, and it's not going to let me summon anything, though. And that can't bring anything from Graveyard. Because otherwise, I could at least get myself into some power out here, but I don't have a, you know, Link 3 power that's going to beat that, necessarily. Hmm, this is a problem, indeed. Uh, can I get anything here? Nah. I only got that one normal summon, and... If I could get a special summon out here, then it would work. But I can't special summon because nothing's in my graveyard. Wait, no, I can. Okay. That's technically a special summon when you bring back a glow up bulb. Oh boy. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, glow up bulb needs to be in it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I was stretching. Dark Law is a nice, clean counter. Alright. Yeah. You destroyed... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Vision, Fusion Destiny does that. Mm -hmm. I need to see if I can somehow fit the ultimate Fusion Destiny card in here or not. Maybe. Okay. I don't really have much more to do. If you would have somehow broke through that, I would not have been able to bounce back that easily. <laughs> yeah, and I was trying, but with that impermanence, you saved yourself pretty hard. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty much gone already by using my two needle fibers. I only got the two of them. Um, but we'll go into this guy to get myself one more search. All right. Well, it does oh, wait, force me to attack. Hard. <laughs> yeah, this does force me to attack with. Oh yeah, yeah you won this duel. Yeah. Dark Law wins. You don't think there's anything you can pull? If you draw your own infinite permanence, you will be able to stop him, and you'll be True. able to play. True. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> World Legacy Succession. That's the one. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Yeah, still nothing really to to bounce off harder with, so let's just attack. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is going to work, though. Yeah, see, that's just when he leaves the field. Okay, so you got a little stopping power right there. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be ending the turn with a monster. Exactly, so that's going to be the shot right there. So I might be able to wipe out Dark Law. I'm never going to get to go into my endgame plays, but... I might be able yeah. to beat Dark Law. Which is pretty pretty important for me to actually play the game, so. Yeah. Maybe Regeki <laughs> would not be such a bad shot on this deck. Maybe. Uh, foolish burial. <laughs> this game lives me. Alright, so what can we do? Okay. So do I have any eights? I mean I do. It's a horrible play, but it's the only play I have. So we're gonna normal summon this, which normally gets us a summon from the graveyard, not do that. And we're going to summon Borload Savage Dragon because it's the only thing I can summon. And you don't have a monster to equip from the gray for him. Nope. But Dark Law. Eh. Okay. Um, I yeah. don't have monsters to fight the power of this guy with, so. We'll take it. What can I get in there? Do I go with the Destrudo there right now, or do I try to get a monster that I can combo with in there? I'm just gonna send Destrudo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zylo. I mean, there's lots of things besides Dark Law and whatever's about to happen now. Whew. I'm sorry, Zylo. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Uh, I should have okay. waited until I actually had to play with the Foolish Burial. But oh, my graveyard was so lonely. Dang it. Okay, I actually drew a monster, mm -hmm. but it's not a good one to use right now. All right. The tap can, tap fight can, continues. Yes, this tap fight. Dark Law shut Ooh, you down. Resonator over. call. Yeah, no, that was beautiful. That is a re that is a reason why in some of the more com sometimes in competitive decks, they not only have Dark Law side deck, oh, yeah. they also have mass change to side deck. Well, yeah, if you're going to run Dark Law, you're going to run that. Uh, okay, so this isn't going to bring us out any of the big plays, but hey, we're getting monsters to the field. And they all eventually hit the graveyard, which means I can do other things. But for now, we're going to attack you with a red resonator. 
actually put him out in attack mode if I'm gonna keep Red Resonator out there like that, but wasn't thinking. Wasn't thinking Red Resonator was gonna be one of my primary um, means of life point damage. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Dak? Right. I think you just win based on power right now. Last duel was great. This duel was dumb. <laughs> Yeah, no, if you want to know my hand, I have a poly. I have an overdone burial, which is the one where if I discard a card, I can summon a monster of a lower level and equip it. Blue Mountain Butterspy, which can only be summoned if I normal summon first. Yeah, and then oh, a I, have, change. I don't win yet with the numbers out here, so we'll see what I get. Okay, I can start 12 tanky. We can play. We can play. And that will just give me a war off, but fortunately, with the pittance of attacks that I've managed to put together, we have couple hundred more life points than you have so war wolf attack resonator attack and i could have oh, wait no i couldn't have i don't have link zones and then gosh gotten it real close but we got it we got it here you go savage dragon with nothing attached to do your job oh boy I mean, at least i had him in there just to be attack damage uh let's do one more because i was just a shaky duel i'll go second again i'll let you go first oh boy okay Let's see what I can do then. You know what? Maybe I should start off with the slow play. Okay. I think I will. We're going to... Let's see. I could go into... Yeah, I don't have the uh, any of the normal first turn opener. So we're going to do that. And we're going to hold on to this card. Actually, I should probably use it. Nah. I'll hold on to it. No, I'll use it. <laughs> Decisive. <laughs> Just because I don't want this to come to my hand by my draw. I'd rather get some other stuff, so... Sounds good to me, and my turn. Alright. Okay, so you don't leave much for me. Yep. I'm gonna... It's gonna be a little risky, but I'm gonna play a Hero Lives. Okay. I mean, against my deck, it really feels like it's kind of all or nothing. Either I make my play, and it's hard to break. Um, I, even though I did last time, I feel like it's not gonna be the normal case where I chip away at you. Mm-hmm. Doing this to get me a mask change. Very nice. But I'm also going to use this Goblinburg to then special summon Stratos. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, uh, yeah, I wonder why I wasn't able to add a hero from my deck to my hand. I don't know. Oh well. Let's get this going. I don't have a Destiny Hero to bounce off of that. But what I can do is, yeah, I guess that's the best play. Using Goblinburg and Stratos. Yep. Get a Soul Day. Keep on moving your warriors. Mm -hmm. Using a Soul Day. Let's get... Yeah, what do you want in the hand? I guess plenty of things will do, but... Mm -hmm. it looks like you're fine on your normal summons this time around. Yeah. Okay. Guess you haven't mm. seen Vion yet. But... Yeah, I haven't yet. Okay. I think I know what I need to grab. Right. I'm gonna grab. My, I am gonna grab my Vion for next turn. Yeah. Then I'm gonna set this card down. I wonder what it could be. Oh, well, this card down. One of them is the right thing. Either way, I don't have a way of immediately stopping it. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna activate this real quick. Mm -hmm. By calling three, I can send these cards to the grave. Haha, <laughs> oh, well, sword. That's good. Yeah. Increase. Nice, nice. Then I banish my two warriors in the grave to get that back. Oh, do you have it? I... Yes, I do. <laughs> nice. This is going to be hard for me, then. Oh, I could actually... Oh, I forgot that you can do it from the grave as well. Oh, yeah, for the summoning. Oh, man. Very nice. Ah, oh, boy, this is going to hurt me. I'm going to risk it and see if I can attack with a soul day first you on your monster. Okay. And that's a problem. Do I do I get rid of your Tengu now? No, I'm gonna save that. Uh, save that negate. Ah. I'm gonna save that negate. 
Darn it, making me burn through all of them. Fight me! <laughs> Fine, Serene. Why do I keep calling Serene? Yeah. Dark Phoenix Gear Freed. I think it's because I forgot to do that. Dang it. I could actually take in your monster. I am true. Oh. Yeah, so with this combo, it's gonna. I don't think I can get you. We'll see okay. what I draw. Mm -hmm. But yeah, actually, like, there was a Regeki in this deck when I was first uh, seeing it, and I took it out. I feel like it. I'm working well. Because things like that, you know, Dark Law you're about to have, and, you know, burning a use of your gear I'm not going to do Dark Law. I'm going to say huge. I'm not going to do Dark Law. Okay. I'm actually... Because we already see what he does to your deck. Mm -hmm. We'd rather see other stuff, right? True. Hey, look, a normal summon. <laughs> yeah. I can't... No, Giffrey doesn't think he normal summons. Oh, yeah, I don't have anything in the graveyard to work with him. Okay. All right, so we can do that, and we can do this, bringing this guy out to the field. Mm-hmm. All right, and with that, we can, hmm. Yeah, you just gotta straighten the gate of one, whatever summon you want. Yeah, that's the problem. We're gonna actually, yeah, we're not gonna do anything right there. Okay, uh, no. Why not? <laughs> All right, now. Mm, no, that's not gonna do. All right, let's do the obvious then. See what comes of it. Um, actually, let's do it with you. Oh wait, no, it has to be. It has to be you too. Activate. That I will negate. Mm -hmm. Phoenix Blade will stop that. Yeah, if he wasn't destroyed, we would have been fine. But he is destroyed. And if yeah. I did bring up these other guys, then they would have all been non-tuners. So I didn't have it. Yeah, this deck can... These decks are good against each other, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a good little lineup. Mm-hmm. And I want to show you something else I got. Mm -hmm. Automatus action unit. Okay. Basically, I get to dig into your graveyard. Sure. And equip it to him. Leaving me another equip monster for that. He counts as an equip monster when he's on the field like that? No, he, the uh, automatus actually okay, that makes an yeah, equip That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. But this allows him to basically. Yeah, another material and a monster. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm going to get Vi Vision Hero Vion. Yeah. Let's see Let's see a big feel from you. Let's see what you can muster. I got nothing. But yeah. Let's see what you got. Because mm -hmm. we know you could put Dark Law out there. We know you got that guy to counter. And he's working so much better in this deck than he did in the previous one. Yep. Yeah. And I don't dislike the TGs, but they they don't always have the greatest opening. Like, if they have access to their graveyard on, like, turn three, they can make moves. But you don't always have all that. Yeah. So using... I have to use... Okay. For the Link Zone, I gotta use Shadow Mist. Luckily, I can use Shadow Mist's secondary effect of being sent to the graveyard. Mm hmm. Why not? Mm hmm. And let's add to the hand. Uh, where are you? Uh, Just add it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said I wanted to see a field. I didn't want you to think about it. Gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. And then uh, let's just do you. Mm hmm. Using Isolde and Increase to bring out Crusader. Cool, cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's activate this real quick. Uh, do that. Increase Crusaders. Well, uh, I'm surprised I didn't increase his power. Uh, oh, we know that's right. It decreases yours. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then let's just... That changes it. everything! <laughs> Need a fiber? You can destroy your own partner? Mm -hmm. Ah, so not too scary of a field. Oh, well. No, but I do have ways of getting multiple in the gates, though. It's the, it's the cool thing. Oh, multiple, huh? Yeah. First off, let's just do this real quick. Sure. Ooh, that's a real clean number, too. That 41 beats my 4,000. Yeah. And I mean, of course, free. I can negate the attack after it's popped, so I guess it doesn't. It's not really relevant. Yeah. But and then yeah, you can negate the battle phase mm. entirely. Yeah. <laughs> Phasar is kind of good. 
Yeah, but God Phoenix Gearfried, you were the main play. Let's mm-hmm. just let's finish you off with him. Yeah, so it seems that my big boss monster is still tougher than yours, but yours definitely comes out quicker. So, well, yeah, at least comes out more consistently quick. I don't even mm-hmm. know if I could call it consistent because you can't search it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you is. just kind of have to have it. So that worked out for you, though. It worked out. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Let us know some other big monsters you want to see get summoned, and we will do our best to make it happen. We'll see you next and if time. You wanna see, and if you want to see Godfried, uh, Gearfried, or TG deck go against anything else, make sure to comment that as well. That too. See ya, folks. Oh.